What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some more Clash of Clans, and today, we mess around with some more dragons. I, I really like dragons. They're a fun army. I'm not the best with them. I've been trying a new strat. I've seen some other people using it, and I figured, hey, what the crap, we'll give it a shot. Um, it's dragons with a freaking buttload of freeze um, in one rage. So, I don't know if it's a great Town Hall 10 army or not. We're going to find out. This was the first hit I did with it three days ago. Um, it was a dead base, so it wasn't like a super tough thing or anything. It was a dead 11 at least, so it was, you know, at least mildly better. Um, but, trying to get the fundamentals down, take down some easier bases while I learn, but I've been really enjoying using dragons. So, we're going to get back out there today. We're going to try to get some more dragon attacks in, but before we can do that, we've got some loot to burn. We've got actually quite a bit to loot to burn, so we're going to do that. Beep, just like so. We don't have all that many walls left. Our BK is level 36. If I pull my loot from the clan castle, I can drop him for a level 37. Um, but I want to use him for the raids. Because without a BK, it's really, really hard to funnel. Um, so I, I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and drop a buttload of our loot here. Boop, boop. Just set up little... There you go. Just like that. Do I have wall rings? <gasps> I do. <gasps> Shoot, look at that. I didn't even know I had wall rings. Can I do... Oh, I don't have that many wall rings. How many wall rings does a feller have? That's the real question. I didn't even look. Oop. Do I have two more? Nope. All right, so we're completely out of wall rings. Not a big deal. Got an extra deal out of it, though, so that's all right with me. We're getting close. We've only got 83 walls left to go, a few more BK levels, and we're going to be going to Town Hall 11. Oh, it's going to be dangerous. <laughs> it's going to be dangerous days for us at Town Hall 11, but, you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Let's go ahead, jump out into the wild wilderness, and see if we can't find somebody to attack, and hopefully, do well on. Alright guys, I think we've got ourselves a base here. It might not be very easy. It's got the double singles, which does worry me a little bit. Not to mention, there's not a lot of value on the outside of the base to really help funnel my dragons inward. Um... But, what are you going to do? <laughs> we're going to give it a shot. It's got a lot of loot, so we're going to see what goes down. It may not go very pretty for me, but it, it may go okay. We'll see. How do I want to attack this? Uh, need to get a funnel set where I can kind of push in and get the town hall quickish. I want to kind of come in from this side. I don't really know why. Don't ask me because I, I don't know. But we're going to try... Um, I think I have to run my heroes together here to make sure my... My queen doesn't A, die too quickly, um, but also because I want to see if I can't get that air defense out with both of them together. He's probably going to run that way. That's okay. Might be able to make this work still. He's taking a lot of damages. <laughs> it's been a few days since I've done an attack, so I don't expect amazingness, but I also don't want to suck like huge ones because that would be very unfortunate. All right, queen. <clears throat> Oh crap, he's got an Electro Dragon, that's that's gonna be rough. And I don't know if we're gonna get that air defense. I could probably drop a freeze here, I should have done it. I didn't, <laughs> and I still got the air defense. Okay, so that went all right. Let's go ahead and I think we're gonna drop our Slammer over here, just to kind of get some stuff going down. Um, oop. Like that, um, there we go. Get ourselves a Rage right in here, I think, to go down over that. Pop ourselves a freeze on this. Alright. The thing's going well. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, team. I probably need to be freezing stuff up here. And probably that right there. I've got a lot of freezes. A lot of managing on your freezes, to be honest. My freezes don't last as long as other freezes might. So that's also not super great. Alright. we get both of those with one freeze? All right, there we go. We got a freeze there. We only got one star right now, which is not the greatest. We are blowing through freezes and dragons. We got a lot of them running down here, and that's not what I wanted. But it's looking like we're going to miss the town hall on this. Could be because I had really bad funneling. Could also be because I suck. <laughs> Either way, it's completely likely. I really wanted to get at least the town hall. That would have been ideal. And that sweeper did not go down either. I'm going to blame it on poor funneling, because that's probably what most of it was. I guess we can drop this last freeze here just to do it. Not that it's going to make a huge difference. we got three dragons left, but they're moving in on a single Inferno, a sweeper. It's just not going to go well. <laughs> they're going to go down. We will get 70%, which isn't awful. It's just 
I don't know, I, I wanted to get a three star. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about things. The three star was definitely part of the plan. Could have worked better on my freeze placement too. I wasted a lot of freezes hitting like one thing or two things that weren't really doing a lot. The loot was still pretty freaking good. Got the full bonus, a little bummed. I missed the town hall. But like I said, this is the second attack I've ever done with this army comp. It's a little bit weird. The freezes don't last a huge amount of time, but I'm feeling like we're gonna get a three today, okay? I opened up on what probably would have been a base I'd take later. <laughs> I have a little more confidence built up, a little more, you know, good feels about the army. But for now, we're gonna get ourselves, our clan castle refilled, everything back ready, head out and do another attack. All right, I think we found our next raid here. It's been hit a couple times. Both singles are way down low. Town Hall's way up here. I'm not 100% sure how I want to go about it. Um, other than I'd kind of like to push in from down here and get these out as fast as possible. I can double freeze here and here, which should make things, I don't know, hopefully better um, <laughs> than the last one. Because that last one, woo buddy, that did not go pretty. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I think drop our BK up here. Let him work in here and push his way in and maybe knock out all of this stuff as well. Help, you know, knock out this side of the funnel a little bit. Seems like it is a good idea. I don't really know, to be honest, if it is or not. Um, as for the queen, don't know. Maybe to back him up right here. We might be able to actually, you know, we ain't gonna be able to kill the enemy queen. It's all right. All right. We'll see what we got to work with once we get down here. I just really don't want my, uh, my dragons to wander, because when your dragons wander, that's bad news bears 150%. I don't want to begin to force into a certain area. We'll see if we can pull it off this time. Last one, I ain't gonna lie. Did not go super well. Gonna get the enemy queen here. That's kind of nice. There we go. All right. Things are looking moderately okay. Go ahead and get ourselves our dragon in clan castle here. And one, two, like that. Go ahead and drop our dragons in down here. Like so, get ourselves a freeze going right meh, and look, would you look at that, dude? Every time, doesn't really matter when, whatever I'm attacking with, that is what everyone's skeleton traps are always set on. A thousand percent of the time, it's, like, it's not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying. It is a little bit annoying to see that literally every time I go to attack someone, they've got the exact skeleton traps that I just, oops, that's a horrible freeze, but it still worked out, so it's okay. We can deal. I just want to keep these stupid sweepers frozen, because if you don't, oh, we got freaking double Tesla's up there, too. Keep that thing frozen. Keep them from hitting on my dragons. All right. Do have a lot of air power attacking us right up here. And the dragons are running the wrong way, as per usual, my dragons do. Um, what do you want to drop this freeze? Probably in the same spot. Yeah. Was I late on it? I don't know. I think we're going to get Town Hall, at least. But, man, it's not a lot of damage going through this base. I feel like maybe this strat is not as good at Town Hall 10. Could also be that I'm just really bad at following my dragons. I don't have a lot of tankage. I didn't have a, a slammer this time either. Only a 62% two star. At least I did make it to the Town Hall that time. <laughs> Slight improvement. We've got a two star. A little less percentage. We're working on it. I don't know, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I used the other ones before, the what you call it. The dragons and the balloons where you kind of funnel the bats in the back end. And it does some serious work. Drag bat, I had a lot of success with. I felt really good about using the army. Um, as you can see, pretty good loot coming out of the army as well. The dead base went down, but it's dead base. There's a lot you're not really having to worry about. These last two attacks, they're not the greatest attacks I've ever dropped in my life. But I'm learning. Okay, I'm trying to figure everything out. I don't really know if I'm learning as much as I should be. I think I'm just getting wrecked. Um, that's okay. We'll give it another shot, get our clan castle refilled, go back out, see if we can't take another base, and hopefully get a three-star at least on one of our attacks. Otherwise, well, I'm just a sad boy. <laughs> All right? All right. All right, peeps. We've got ourselves another base here. It's got pretty decent loot. It's not quite as upgraded. The Infernos are level two. Um, but other than that, it's only we got an expo down in Archer Tower, such like that. Not a huge deal. I think my problem is, and I'm not 100% sure, I think I'm keeping my heroes together, so I'm not setting as good a funnel as I should be setting. Um, kind of afraid to lose one of them too early and not get a good funnel, but I guess I'm just going to have to try and roll with it and see if I can't funnel in decently enough to do some work. So we're going to drop the BK over here. 
I'm going to drop my queen up here and hope she walks this way. Um, it may not be the greatest plan of attack. It may work out really well. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying stuff out here. I'm learning, okay? And this is part of the learning process. You got to suck a little bit before you get good at things. And that's kind of the game plan here. So the BK's made quite the funnel on that side. If the queen cannot die and step up and whoop, take out a couple defenses on this side, that's looking pretty good for a funnel if I come in on the top. But I want to make sure I've got a good funnel, so I think I'm going to send my slammer over here, drop my four balloons to check for traps, and then get the rest of my dragons coming in right up here, like so. The idea here being, I want to kind of murder this base. I really do. Let's get a rage going right there. Get ourselves a freeze going right here. One right here. One right here. Oh crap, we're freezing all over the place. Oh, it didn't need that freeze. It's okay. I still caught some value out of it. There you go. Come on, dragons. You can do this. I believe in you. Oh, that was a bad freeze again. It's okay. Okay, don't panic. Nobody panic. All right, get a freeze right here. I was hoping to get that air defense, actually. Did not get it. That's okay. We can refreeze it. Last freeze is down. I don't have a rage for the queen, but hopefully that dragon can blast on her real much with fire. Do it. There you go. Okay, we only got one air defense left in this base. Oh my god, peeps. Is it, it going to happen? Are we going to not suck huge donkey balls for one attack? No way. No. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six dragons up. They're not super healthy dragons, but I think... We've got a builder hut down here that might come back to haunt us because time is an issue that dark also might come back and get us um if you can blow that down before he gets that maybe he'll swing back north no he didn't i think we've got enough time though i think we've got time we've got a decent amount of dragons left one two three four five six seven dragons got more dragons than i thought okay <laughs> hey oh my gosh we finally are gonna get a three star here oh that feels good I was starting to worry if maybe I sucked really bad, and I think, like I said, I think my problem was when I was coming in on the attacks, um, I went back and I watch them when I suck, I always go back and watch my replays, and if you guys are sucking on your attacks and failing, go back, watch your replays. It's like the best thing you can ever do, um, because it shows you where you made mistakes, what you maybe you could have done better. It lets you kind of just brainstorm, you know, what could possibly be going wrong. And on the first two attacks, when I did it, I clumped my heroes together because I wanted to get value out of them. I, I didn't want my queen to die too early or anything, so I put them both together, and it didn't do much. I only cleared one side. I didn't get another side cleared. Now, on this base, I probably shouldn't attack the way I did anyways just because, you know, I couldn't really clear down here with any hero. Um, but the idea was when I put my heroes together, I only got a little bit of value, and I couldn't clear another side to really help push my dragons where I wanted. And dragons, if you guys don't know, they're kind of like P.E.K.K.A.s. If they're by themselves, they're nowhere near as strong as if you got two of them together or three of them together because the strength in them is that they can one-shot defenses or, you know, close to and then move quickly. That's where they're good. If they're by themselves, they're kind of weak because they sit there and they have to hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer on something to bring it down. Where if you got a big clump of them, they kind of move through really quickly. So I think my problem was my funnels really sucked. They weren't very good funnels, um, and I feel like we had a better job of getting our dragons to go together as a group into the base. So we'll try it again, see if I can't repeat the process, and maybe my theory is correct, or <laughs> maybe I'll suck again. I don't know. All right, I think we got ourselves another base here. It's pretty maxed out other than walls, it looks like. The hero might need a little extra work. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Um... I need to make an entry. Where do I want to enter the base at? I mean... I feel like there's going to be Teslas guarding this. It could be inside. It could be outside. I don't know. I kind of want to drop my queen, but if it's, if it's bad news bears over there, it's going to be really bad news bears for me. So I'm thinking perhaps... BK right... Here. I hope he's going to walk this way and up. That's kind of the game plan. I don't want him swinging back to that, but he might. Don't do it. Please don't do it. He didn't. All right. Step one, at least going mildly according to plan, even though my plan is shaky at best right now. All right, come on. I don't know if I'm going to get the queen. I probably won't, but I just want to get a lot. Oh, I might get the queen, actually. Take him down. Take her down, slapper. All right. 
The only time it's okay to slap a woman is if it's the Archer Queen. The only time, okay? All right, so we're gonna try our queen over here. This might be a really bad move, but it might also pay dividends. We shall see. That's the whole point here. All right. Taking a little bit of damage. It's okay. I'm okay with her taking some damage. All right. Pop that ability. Take out that Inferno. That would be beautiful for you. Beautiful. Can you take out that air defense as well, lady? You sure did. All right. She's doing okay by me. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my four balloons in like this. My slammer's going to come from over here. And then I'm going to come in with dragons right down here. All right. Could go ahead and freeze, but I don't think I need to quite yet. I'm going to rage up this cord towards the town hall once they get that BK down. All right. There you go. Come on, dragons. Doing okay. He's got some archers in the clan castle. Not a big deal. I can deal with that. Let's get a freeze down here and get a freeze down right there. All right. Let's keep freezing these uh, these annoying... Well, they're about to go down. I don't need to waste a freeze there yet. We do need to freeze down here. Here we go. All right. All right, team. You're moving well. They're sticking together. I like that. You need to freeze this. The multi isn't like a, it doesn't do a ton of damage to a single one. But the thing is, it's hitting five dragons at once. So it is effectively doing like 200 damage per second, which is a lot. So we can keep it down and maybe, there we go. One more. Keep it going. Keep it going, team. Get a freeze up here on this air defense. Come on. Come on. We're going to, we're timing out here. I can see the time is going to be a big issue. We've got the last air defense down. Okay, we've only got 25 seconds, so there's a lot of base left to go here. We do have nine dragons up right now. Three, six, nine freaking dragons kind of moving their way through the base. We are pretty slow. We don't have a ton of DPS, right? Well, we got a lot of damage. We're just kind of slow moving through the base. The freezes don't necessarily give you a lot of speed. We might sneak this out. I don't know. I think we're going to 99% it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, so Super close right there. 99%. Oh, sad face. But I do feel better about the attack. I feel like I'm learning the steps that make the attack work. Um, I think we're going to probably leave it there for the day. Two kind of rough start attacks and then two attacks that went much, much better. Let's be honest about things. Um, but yeah, I would say the key component to making the attack work is you've got to get a really good funnel set. Um, when I ran my heroes together, I could knock out, I guess, more of one side of the base. But when you leave, you know, this whole part of the base up, your dragons come in and they kind of just, they flay out everywhere. And when they do that, you don't have enough concentrated damage to take down things quickly. If you can't take down an air defense fast or an expo fast or an inferno tower, you know, decently quick, your freezes have very little effect. Um, because, yeah, they're waking right back up. You got one dragon arm, you gotta keep freezing to keep it down. I think the key to the attack is making sure those dragons stick together. In these last two attacks, that's exactly what we pulled off. We got our dragons to stay very clumped um, by splitting our heroes and getting as much value as possible. I would say this attack is not an attack you should use if you have low-level royals, because if your heroes can't get much value, the attack isn't gonna go anywhere. I mean, it's just, you're gonna probably fizzle and die. You might get two stars if the base is set up poorly, but you can't knock out enough outside trash with really low level Royals unless there's just not much damage out there to shoot you. Um, but yeah, first two attacks we dropped, rough. Let's be honest. They did not go well, but that's that's part of it. Here's the thing. I would rather suck and hit strong bases. I nexted, not even kidding, some seriously stupid good loot looking for bases that I thought were harder bases to hit. I don't want to hit bases with air defenses down with, you know, dead bases when I'm trying to learn an attack really well. I mean, it's fine to start out on one just to get like a confidence booster in like I did down here three days ago. Um, but all the attacks today were against bases that were pretty well upgraded because I want to, you don't learn as much hitting a weak base as you do hitting a strong base, a weak base. You can cream it with a lot of armies, to be honest about things. The stronger bases are where you're going to see your flaws in your attack really open up quickly. And that's what I learned down here is if I don't have a good funnel, my dragons fizzle too quickly. I can't make it through the base. We swapped up our plan and split our heroes up on these two attacks. As you can see, a massive difference. Three star, 99% two star by literally like a fraction of a second. Ah, one more breath is all we needed. But these down here, you know, one star, 70%, 62% two star. I think it's important to show those like anyone can go through. I could have done my attacks and done like, you know, 
all day done this army strategy and picked out just my four or five or six best three star hits and showed those but the thing is i think it's important to see the fails because when you see someone mess something up that's how you learn mistakes are the best learning tool you will ever have in your life don't forget that um but there we go i'm pretty happy with the day the loot wasn't bad we made pretty solid loot out of this a ton of freaking dark which is fantastic because a feller needs to upgrade his old bk so go ahead and take yourself a nap you're going to level what 37 now not bad. I don't have... Ooh, I got something. Destroy 40 gold mines? Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I do need another book of heroes. Unfortunately, don't have one of them suckers laying about. So I get one, I think, way down here. What is? We got a while for that sucker. Plus, a BK skin. <laughs> I've been waiting for that noise. Been waiting for it, but there we go. Got our BK going to 37. Knocked out some decent loot. Hit some pretty hard bases. And I feel like I'm getting better with the strategy. I do enjoy it. It's a fun army to mess with. It's just, you gotta learn. Every time you swap armies, you gotta learn. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support, and I will see you guys in the next one.